In this video, we'll be going over how to use the Dashboard Builder application to create a basic dashboard in Finn. With the new Dashboard Builder app, viewing and accessing the data you need is even easier. You can create your own dashboards, add and remove a range of widgets, and share across instances of Finn if desired. The dashboards created using the application are all dynamic and smartphone responsive. So let's get started. The dashboard application can be launched by opening the app launcher menu on the top left of your project view, and then selecting the dashboard application located in the end user section of the menu. This will open up the dashboard application in the mini app menu to the very right. In this view, users can create new dashboards and eventually view and edit existing dashboards. Before we begin creating a new dashboard, it's important to note that the dashboard app is context sensitive which means our navigational context will affect what dashboards we can view and what data will be available when we start to create a new dashboard. So the first step is to set your navigational context to the correct target you'd like to create a dashboard for. Once you've set the context, go back to the dashboard app and select the plus button to begin creating a new dashboard. Begin by typing in a title. The next property field is called dashboard on, which determines what target the dashboard will be running on. As a result of the application's built-in context sensitivity, the dashboard on property should have automatically been filled in based on your navigational context. The very bottom section allows for you to choose between a variety of common dashboard layouts for you to begin creating your dashboard with. Once you've selected a layout, press save to create the dashboard. To begin editing your new dashboard, select the dashboard from the mini app menu on the right and click on the edit option to open the dashboard editor. Once you're in the dashboard editing view, you will find several options related to building dashboards. On the top right, you will find a plus button which brings up the options to create a new dashboard or add additional widgets to the existing dashboard. To the right of that is a pencil icon that when clicked on brings up a window that allows you to edit the title and the dashboard on properties of the selected dashboard. The third icon to the right is a trash icon that allows you to delete the selected dashboard. And to the far right is the save button which will allow you to save your current progress into the project database. The section below is where the widgets will be displayed and adjusted to create the desired dashboard. Since we had already selected a dashboard layout when initially creating the dashboard, we already have some widget templates set up and ready for us to begin using. But before we begin, it's important to know that these dashboard widgets are fully adjustable. This means you can adjust and customize your widget to be any size, and the content within the widget will automatically scale accordingly. This flexibility makes designing dashboard layouts incredibly easy. So let's get started. The first thing we'll want to do is begin setting up our widgets. Start by clicking on the three dots located on the top right corner of the desired widget group. This will bring up a list of options, allowing you to edit, duplicate, or delete the widget. Click on the edit option to bring up the edit widget form. In here, you can select what kind of widget you'd like to add. You can choose from a variety of different widget types, including history charts, value charts, value gauges, single text values, graphics, weather widgets, data tables, and or maps. For this example, we'll be using a few of the more common dashboard widgets to create a quick and basic dashboard. Start off by going to the value gauge section and selecting one of the available gauge widgets. Once the gauge is selected, go down to the point selector section and click on the drop down to begin selecting a point from your database. Navigate down to the point you'd like to bind to the gauge and click on it to make the selection. If you'd like to change the color of the point represented on the gauge, Click on the little color icon to the left of the point selector to open a color palette. In here you can adjust the values manually or you can type in hex or RGB values. Once the gauge setup is complete, press the OK button to update the widget. One important thing to keep in mind is that these gauges will automatically adjust their minimum and maximum values based on the point's minval and maxval properties. So if those properties are not present on the point, just go into your database and add them onto the points that need them, and the gauge will automatically adjust accordingly. 
If you want to create a similar gauge, one trick you can do is duplicate the existing widget. The duplicated widget can be found at the bottom of the existing widgets by scrolling down. You can then drag and drop the widget into any location within the dashboard builder and begin adjusting it accordingly. The next widget we can make into a text value by selecting the value option and then selecting a point. Feel free to add in a couple more widgets and take a moment to begin forming a potential dashboard layout. Now, for the final widget, we're going to create a history comparison chart. Click on the Edit Widget option to begin setting up the history chart. You'll notice right below the History Chart tab, you will find various chart types that you can choose from. For this example, I'll be creating a comparison chart. Start by selecting the type of points you'd like to display on your chart. By default, it is set to number values, but this can be changed to represent Boolean and string values if needed. Begin by selecting your first point and setting its color value. Since we have column line options selected, the first point will be represented by columns, and then the following points will be represented by lines. To add a new point, click on the Add Point option on the bottom left and repeat the process until you've selected all the points you'd like to have represented on your chart. You can enable or disable the available chart property settings as needed. This one has the option to rotate the chart, add in a legend section, and also to add in a download button for the user to download the chart data. Once you're done customizing your chart, press OK to update the widget. Once you've completed your layout, click on the Save button to save your dashboard and begin viewing it live. To view your dashboard, first make sure the dashboard application is open in the mini app to the right, and then click on the dashboard you've just created and click on the View option to view it live and to begin interacting with it. As I mentioned earlier, the dashboards created using this application are all completely dynamic and smartphone responsive. This means you can view your existing dashboards on any mobile or smartphone device and the dashboards will automatically resize and adjust themselves to fit the viewing environment, just like in this example here. So that concludes the basic instructions on how to use the Dashboard Builder application to quickly and easily create custom dashboard layouts that can ultimately enhance and provide a far better user experience than ever before. Thank you for watching and be sure to have yourself an absolutely fantastic day.